guys, so I just finished filming a foundation review and I wanted to do a video for this channel as well, but I'm going to get a little bit more comfy and cross my legs and chill out and talk to you guys. <laughs> but uh, this is my baby must-haves video. This is must-haves for me, I, my personal favorite things. A lot of people have been asking me to do some sort of video like this. These are just general items that aren't specific to any age group, so it's kind of like a wide range of ages. Not everything is going to be for certain younger babies, not everything's going to be for certain older babies either. It's just things that I felt were very essential and I really enjoyed. I don't think I can really hold up everything and make the video like really long. So I'm just going to enter pictures and hopefully quickly to sum up why I like them as fast as I can so this video isn't too long. As far as my must-have bathtub goes, for younger babies, as far as like within the first three months, four months, five months, mostly three months, I love the Pudge Tub bathtub. It's a sink bathtub. Lynn actually gave that to us for Ava's baby shower gift, and it was awesome. They came out with a new version, which is the Pudge Tub Light, which I think is a little bit more slimmer. It fits in more sinks. But all in all, those are great tubs, especially when you are a new parent and you are a little bit scared to bathe your infant and, and maybe both of you guys aren't home and you're just doing it alone and you're just scared, you know, you want something a little bit more secure and you want something that fits in your sink. She never cried during bath time. She does love water, but I have a feeling the tub did also kind of hug her and secure make her feel secure you know so I think she really enjoyed it too I still have it we use it for Mia right now it does have a very low weight limit I think it's around 16 pounds so you can't use it forever obviously because then you can tell when it's they're starting to get too heavy the tub doesn't really stay closed it's closed by like magnetic closures I'm not sure how the punch tub light is I, I'm assuming it's roughly the same but good good infant bathtub as far as a bathtub that you can use from birth until like a very long time, I would recommend the Four Moms bathtub and it's their clean water collection bathtub. I also had that for Mia. It was Ava's old tub. I got that for Ava when she was about like eight months old and she used it until about one year old when she started to take showers. Go figure, the girl likes to take showers instead of taking baths now. She likes to stand and she never falls. Who knows why? But uh, she loved the Four Moms bathtub as well. She, even after she was like old enough to sit up, she would just sit in it and you know splash around. Eventually, she got up and start walking. But they used to sell it all together with this electronic, like, spout cover thing. But now they separate it all. You have to buy it separate. But on the bathtub, it has a digital thermometer and it can read the temperature of the water, so you know that it's perfectly fine for baby when it's too hot, it's red when it's too cold, it's blue, and it reads the actual number temperature and when it's good it's green. As far as strollers go I'm a big baby jogger fan, the brand baby jogger. I used the City Mini single stroller with Ava when she was growing up and that is the same stroller that I recommended to Judy and Benji when we um, met them in LA and we were hanging out uh, like hauler deals and stuff like that and that was when Judy was still pregnant with Juliana and that is the stroller that they do use. I'm glad they did take my recommendation and um the guys bonded, Benji and Hunbun bonded, and Hunbun showed him how you know accessible it is. It's really nice. It's a one strap fold stroller. It it's really lightweight, which is something I need. You see these puny arms. I need a lightweight stroller. It maneuvers well. It can lay completely down. You can do diaper changes in the stroller. Has a bunch of attachments that you can add on and like purchase, like the parent console, the snack tray. If you've watched any of my vlogs, uh. Prior to Mia being born, but fairly recently, you see Ava in her old stroller, which is the City Mini. It comes in City Mini and City Mini GT. Judy has the City Mini GT version, which has a adjustable handlebar and different wheels, but for the most part, is the same stroller. It's just a little bit more pricey. We got the regular City Mini for Ava because we didn't really feel like we needed the extras. It's really up to you. Love, love, love. Love that stroller. We still have ours, but now we don't need it anymore, so if anyone's interested in buying mine, feel free to message me or inbox me or leave me your email address or something like that because we don't need it we don't mind keeping it around but we don't really need it because we bought another baby jogger stroller since we were expecting Mia we got the baby jogger city select which is a double stroller but it's not a side-by-side -side stroller the city mini comes in a side-by-side but I didn't want one like that. It's way too wide to get through doors. I wanted one that was as slim as a single 
but can have two kids in it. So the Baby Jogger City Select is perfect for that. We have two seats for it and it has a car seat adapter just like the City Mini. You can use a car seat adapter on all Baby Jogger strollers and they have different adapters depending on what car seat you have, depending on what brand it is. But it's awesome. Like, you can use it from when they're tiny little infants and you carry their car seat around to when they're bigger and like walking around. It's it's just awesome. If you've seen my recent vlog, you've seen how we have our City Select kind of set up. We have Ava sitting in the front and we have the car seat facing us above her. And the seats can still recline and then we also have a second seat for when Mia gets older. They can face each other, they can be at the same level, they can be at different levels, they can face opposite directions, they can face the same direction. It's so many different positions. I will post a picture now of like how many different ways you can do it. As far as car seats go, I am all about the Kiko brand. It looks like it says Chico, but the actual correct pronunciation is Kiko. I have been using Kiko car seats since Ava was born. My niece handed her Kiko down to Ava because Ava was born exactly a year after her. And it's the Kiko Key Fit 30. It's up to 30 pounds. They do outgrow the length of the car seat before they outgrow the weight, but it is a great car seat. It's ranked number one for safety, usually. We have a new Kiko for Mia. Same thing, Key Fit 30, definitely worth the investment, and it does work with our strollers as well. That is also, if you do watch It's Judy's Life, what car seat we recommended to them as well. Because they met Ava when she was younger and we brought her Kiko and her Baby Jogger City Mini to LA and they saw the whole setup and we changed her like out and shopping in LA when we were with Judy and Benji and etc etc. As far as seats go, I recently showed in my vlog that I am in love with the Mama and Papa's brand snug seat. It looks like a bumbo chair. It's pretty much an infant positioner support chair that helps them learn how to sit up on their own, assist them sitting up on their own, and also works kind of like a snack tray. The difference between the bumbo and the mamas and papas is that the bumbo is kind of like a one-size-fit-all thing. And I don't really like the bumbo. It's been recalled a bunch of times just because of, you know, how certain parents used it. But it, I don't know, it's just not for me, I've seen a lot of people try it, and because of the way its thighs or the thigh area opens, it doesn't last very long. The Mamas and Papas has an insert that you can remove when the child is older and they can still keep using the seat if they want to. Ava adores that seat and she still sits in it, though she can get up and get out herself. She still sits on it. I always use it on the floor, or if I use it on a bed, I use it in the center of my bed. And I never left Ava alone. You have to use seats like that responsibly. We never really put it on tables either. It's more so for the floor. And it's priced a little higher than the Bumbo because the Bumbo does not come with a snack tray. You have to buy the additional snack tray. The snug seat comes with a snack tray so the price is higher initially and it also has a new attachment that you can either buy with it or buy afterwards it's like a little play tray that you put on top of the snack tray it has little toys that came out after I already had Ava's and she didn't really need it anymore but Ava adores it I fed her in it like last night like sometimes I just don't feel like taking her upstairs to the kitchen where her high chair is so I just put her in that seat sometimes when we're just hanging out watching like movies and she eats in there fine. You can put food on the tray. It's easy to clean. It's easy to take apart the tray if you really need to. It kind of comes assembled already though. And it, I don't know, it, it's gorgeous. It comes in like a very pretty aqua color, a pretty raspberry color. It's just an awesomely built seat. It's, it's more tapered. I've never had any problems with her being able to knock it over because of how it's built and its shape. It's just a really 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 good seat and she's 18 months old now and she can still fit it she's had it since about four months and I'll show you a picture of her when she's younger and in it as you can tell I'm kind of pointing out like the big essential thing as far as anything breastfeeding related I feel like that should be like a separate video for the most part feeding things are a little bit more to each their own as far as bottle recommendation goes though I would recommend the Tommy Tippy bottles which I have right here. They look like this, and this is the nine ounce. My sister gave me a bunch of these she bought or couponed for a bunch of them. My couponing sister. Uh, they come in a cute little three ounce or four ounce bottle. It's just like fatter, but I feel like the nine ounces are just more efficient because these are the most efficient nine ounce bottles ever. They're so tiny. Most nine ounce bottles are really, really tall and can get really, really bulky. What I love about the Tommy Tippy bottles is the shape of them. If you are a breastfeeding mom, even if you aren't, you want something that 
it's easy to transition back and forth from latching and nursing directly and bottle. A lot of people love the Tommy Tippets. I think it's like the most popular bottle out now. I see everyone using them out in public. My niece used them as well. A lot of people use Tommy Tippies. Ava did not use Tommy Tippies because she wasn't a fan of it. It's really different per baby, but a lot of babies do like the Tommy Tippy. I'm going to be using these for Mia because I don't want to get them like switched up when it comes to milk and stuff like that even though Ava will eventually be off a bottle soon but regardless I would definitely recommend the Tommy Tippy bottles as far as for babies who have colic Ava had colic when she was younger and I had to bottle feed her because of um, weight issues when she was younger I put her on the Playtex drop-in system which is what you see her use in my daily vlogs it has like a little disposable insert it helps with colic because it helps keep excess air out of the bottle when she's drinking and colic is gas problems for those who don't know so if you're looking for something that really is easy to clean and um, good for colic babies I would definitely recommend the Playtex drop-in bottles my niece also used those when she was little and she kind of got me into that habit and that's why I started Ava on those as far as uh, other things like diapers my favorite diapers are definitely the pamper sensitive swaddlers I have a huge stockpile of them above my closet. I had a huge stockpile of them for Ava before she was born. I can post a picture of it now. My favorite and my sister's favorite, just generally we're team Pampers. It's different for everyone. There's a lot of people who said, you know, Pampers don't work for their kid's skin. Same thing with Huggies. Some of my friends, their kids don't react well to Huggies. I just like Pampers more. Personally, they get higher reviews usually but they work very well for my kids specifically so I typically keep my kids in Pampers I know there's also um, cloth diapering I can't say I ever cloth diapers so I can't give you any recommend recommendations on that so regardless of what you choose I'm sure as moms you guys will make the right decision for your kids to each their own I'm not I'm not the judging type. If you're a cloth diaper mom, that's fine. If you're a disposable diaper mom, that's fine as well. So whatever you pick. As far as diaper like ointments go, I used A and D Prevent ointment. There's a Prevent and there's a Treat one. One like the treats that when you're in have a rash, and there's one that kind of just waterproofs their butt a little bit and makes it you know less likely to rash. And it looks just like Vaseline. It is majority petroleum jelly and um, linolen, I think. And it has a couple other things in it as well, but A&D really worked well for Ava. She never got any diaper rashes in her 18 months of diapering. I stopped using it when she got around one year because I was like, your booty's gotten pretty tough. But it's really, really nice to have like something like that around, especially if they ever have diarrhea or something. It's really good to protect that booty and kind of waterproof it and make it less prone to rashing. So I would definitely recommend A&D ointment for those. And as far as any other like big items, I would say I really like Fisher Price's swings and jumpers. They are really, really nice. I have the same swing that I used for Ava upstairs and Mia is in it currently right now. Uh, the Four Moms Mamaru is pretty awesome too. I haven't really used it that much yet because Ava tends to unplug it, but <laughs> it's pretty awesome. You can plug your iPod in and it does a really, really, really like awesome motions. If you are looking at the Four Moms Mamaru, I would say try it out. It just depends on the babies. Some babies like things and some babies don't like things. But uh, Fisher Price swings and jumpers are just really awesome in my opinion. I have two Fisher Price uh, jumpers in Ava's playroom right now. One was given to me from my sister and then one was given to Ava from one of her other aunts. So we just have two last two things i really want to address in this video even though i know it's really really long i would say the diaper genie is essential to anyone who is not cloth diapering this is so essential to life the diaper genie is is god's gift to moms because <laughs> it really does do what it's supposed to do it's pretty much like a very high tech not high tech a very technical trash can that has like a little system that kind of closes it off and seals in the smell of any diapers you got going on rather than just throwing it into your traditional trash can and then afterwards you kind of tie it off and you have like a tootsie roll thing of diapers like in this whole sealed bag and you don't ever have to smell the stuff that is in the diapers regardless of what it is during you know the week you just change it when it's full I usually have to change it like twice a week now that I have two kids I used to change it just once a week whenever it gets full pretty much you fill it up 
with diapers that you just continuously buy like refills for it it's it works so well i love the diaper genie elite the elite has a step on it like a step button kind of like a regular trash can that opens it and then you can throw it away ava even knows how to do it now too if if you say can you go diaper genie this for me she steps on it and throws the diaper away which is awesome uh, if you don't get the Elite, it does not have a step thing, and it's shorter. It's more meant for being on top of, like, dressers and stuff, so you kind of have to open it, which to me is just, like, a hassle. I'd rather have it just act like a trash can. So that is essential to life. And last but not least, for this video, I can always do more videos if you guys have more questions about something specific, but for this video, I want to mention that the Boppy Infant Pillows are awesome. I have two as well. They were both baby shower gifts and they were on my registry so everyone was getting us boppies. And they are so handy. It's great to just let your babies lay there. It looks like a huge neck pillow. And it's so comfy from whatever age they are. Ava still reclines on it when she's drinking. Uh, Mia lays on it all day. It's just like a really nice secure way to have them lay. It doesn't advise them, like, you're not advised to leave them sleeping on it, but I mean, if they nap on it, it's okay. It's kind of, you're supposed to monitor them, but it's also great for breastfeeding, and that's kind of the main reason most people buy it. It sits around your stomach, and it keeps baby very close to you while you're nursing, but even if you're not nursing, it works well as a great infant positioner pillow and they come in different covers like they have like different designs they have polka dots they have monkeys they have elephants different everything that you could possibly want and uh it, it's easily washable they also have a waterproof cover that you can put on underneath the really pretty covers if you want to it's just a lot of really cool stuff that you just have to check out and you can find them at like babies are us you can find them at like burlington co factory marshall sells it sometimes for like a discounted price it is worth every penny though for sure i even sleep on it sometimes and so does hubs those are my baby must have essentials i know so so long such a long video i talk a lot i really do but i can do another video like this if you guys have a uh, more specific questions on other items like what I would recommend for this, for that, for etc, etc. I will be doing a more newborn focused video soon and then I can do one that's more breastfeeding focused I guess and then if someone needs me to do one that's more formula focused I can also do that as well. Just let me know what you guys really want to see, any specific things. Thank you guys as always for watching. I need to go check up on my kids because Ava woke up right before I started filming this video so Hubs is on double daddy duty right now <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in a later video bye